for artists and creators, I think generally there's an apprehension and very become very emotional about what you make. And there's this kind of tendency of a failure to launch. It's kind of a sad thing in this day and age when we have such access to just distribution of content to be afraid effectively to, to try. Over 20 years of doing this, I've met many people often smarter than me, more capable, more talented, that I reflect on those instances and they were frankly afraid. They're afraid of some kind of third party, if, if it was in their head, or real perceived gatekeeper, that they were afraid to just go for it. So what the book tries to do is trying to be like a, you know, a business book for creative class, for artists, inventors, founders, whatever, and being intellectually honest in a day and age where like, regardless what you're selling, you have to make peace with selling yourself. You're likely in this day and age to have eight to 10 jobs in your career, right? And the one thing that travels you in a way that like the resume doesn't is your brand. And making peace with that and having a conversation where it's not, you know, clunky. Because you think about personal branding, me and you got together for drinks talking about personal branding, we probably vomit on each other. It's very patronizing. It's really, it could be very saccharine. But there are best practices that you could deploy in, co in contemplating how to kind of organize yourself um, and being conscientious of not playing to perception. Absolutely. Not being in this business of, oh, just how I'm perceived. And I think that's what's really exciting about today and really disruptive culturally. You know, what's going on, people are more intellectually honest, right? Which is, it's, it's exciting. I'm Mark Echo, and I'm Revolt.